And uh, I guess we're recording. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hello, I'm Genghis Don, and this is probably a mistake. I'm going to be playing Revolution X, which is, as you can see, a game involving Aerosmith somehow. It's a rail shooter, came out for the Super Nintendo, and Sega Genesis, one would assume it was also an arcade game. The only memory I have of this is when my cousin rented it for a holiday break in my fourth grade year, which was a long time ago. I have no choice and I have no voice. Um, and I'm just going to let you read that because, well, there are some things that the brain just tries to autocorrect and, well, this is it. I've, this is some kind of weird dissertation. Uh, 13 and 30, yeah, don't trust anyone over 30, and Aerosmith is the only hope against the New Order Nation, we are the last surviving free youth, uh, going to Club X to begin the revolution, music is the weapon. Although we're also going to see some guns used. Yeah, that's, I mean, we throw CDs, I think, I, I remember that. True, so it's a weapon. I mean, if I hated someone, I'd throw an Aerosmith CD at him. I just killed two birds with one 70-minute bit of or oral diarrhea. As you can see, Cunt is the premier player on this. I don't think I'm going to be beating him. I'm playing on a keyboard, and I just really haphazardly map my keys, so I'm just going to see what goes on. Uh, okay. So you guys heard it here, Don is not planning on beating the cunt today. No, I'm not. I'm not. Isn't that like around the time Skynet was supposed to come online? I kind of prefer that continuity. Uh, there's unlimited continue, so I'm just going to keep going until something happens. Oh. Uh, hey, look at me. I'm doing things. I'm manipulating the keyboard. Wake in fear. Oh. Um... Okay. Well, as you can see, the gameplay is superb. Just like in any real war zone, people line up against people who hover with apparently endless... Well, you, you've played these things before. If you haven't, then you grew up with Halo instead of just, I guess, as opposed to spending your high school years playing Halo like we did. Uh, yeah, back in the day, you just yeah, hang out in arcades and uh, do this. You, you'd pay money to do this. Now we do it on the internet. Uh, I feel a little stupid. No, we did get a legitimate copy of this if anyone from the FBI is listening. I don't think they care. I, I, music is... Well, I don't... I, actually, I don't... They've cared about weirder things. I don't remember if Aerosmith was on the, uh, don't pirate our music and such charge or not, to be honest. I'm just gonna go ahead and assume they do, because I'm really starting to hate them right now. I mean, they're not making me play this, but they put me in a position to. I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that blew up by me destroying his trunk, maybe. <sighs> Why am I t These guys look a lot like Geordi from Star Trek. They do. I feel bad butchering them. This is really, you, 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 won't, you don't get credit for this, but it really is a role-playing game because I have to get into the mindset of someone who enjoys Aerosmith enough to go to a concert. This is an alien concept to me, and like role-playing a dwarf, well, it, it's interesting. It, it helps me flex my creative muscles. I'm really just trying to find a way to not feel guilty about doing this. Um, well... You have, you're probably looking for similar justifications because you're watching me play this, so... Alright, I'm um, gonna go butcher these bartenders who really aren't doing anything... Oh, I guess I want to keep playing. I'll free the slave with her Kevlar undergarments. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is just... <coughs> that is one heck of a lava lamp. Yeah, it is. I'm a bit... J I don't know... I don't know why I'm not just leaving, because apparently the concert's canceled. 
I mean, I don't understand. Like, I've never been to a concert. Like, that may sound like a um, non-truth, but it really is. I mean, anyone who knows me can attest that I really don't do normal things. Well, I've never been... I've been to a few concerts in my day, but if I had to fight my way through a legion of Hitler youth, I don't know that I would go. I just, I feel like I'd leave. Okay, um, it's been established that I really want to hear this band play, but I don't see them here. And I don't, I just don't, I, I know music is a weapon and everything, but I just kind of doubt Aerosmith's going to, you know, soldier on and play. Wait. Oh, no. I guess I didn't kill it. Whatever will I do? Oh, shoot the missiles. Don't, don't get hit. So I had to press continue? I mean, I know heat death of the universe is inevitable, but that really isn't high on my list of fears. Wasting energy. That's true. It's inevitable. I, I, I used few kilojoules on probably hopefully not that much. Uh, it's one hell of a continue key. Maybe yeah. It's a DOS keyboard. Oh, I can't shoot it. This is worse than that <coughs> this is worse than the dog and duck hunt. Because these people are making me play these uh, okay. I'm the only one here because I killed everyone else. And uh, uh they're they're surprised at something. And it's because she showed up. Uh, I, she kind of reminds me of like a punk rock version of the final boss from Battletoads. Yeah! Which is, which is another game I kind of remember from my elementary school years. And okay, they're just gonna throw more of these guys at us. I mean, we can levitate. That's been established. I mean, before I thought we were just exceptionally tall. But we just saw a ladder and that put the uh, mental image of climbing in our mind and we flew forward and we're immortal I mean I I, I, I admit I'm I take I I'm a, more than a little surprised at their uh, tenacity I mean it's an organization that hates Aerosmith and nothing else their entire creed is shutting down Aerosmith and they're willing to give their lives to stop it so in essence we are the true villains here yeah, I mean, it's kind of like the 50 Cent video game, I would say. Yeah, it's... I mean, there are good video games out there that play on the um, trope that you are, in fact, a villain. Even, a, like, video games like Nier that only reveal towards the end, despite giving hints that something's awry. It's, a, it's an interesting tragedy element, but this is just a little ham-fisted. Now I'm you you I, I freely admit that I am accusing a rail shooter of being ham fisted and um, poorly written. I think there were like three lines of dialogue in that internet. Okay, we destroyed that television and it's still giving static. If you're watching this, then they've taken over. They've taken over to you now. Find our car and stop the new order. Uh Remember, Remember music. Is a weapon. Um, uh, okay, so it's been established that that television is, does not work. So that means that our character, our hero, is suffering from manic delusions. Slim's stepping up for a cigarette, and I can't blame him. I'm a little envious. I don't smoke, but I think I'm getting cancer nonetheless. Okay. Uh, as you can see, the heroes of our story are called the non-boys, who dress flamboyantly. It's evident that DADT has also been repealed in this continuum much earlier. Around about the time it was put in place, actually. It's just actually a much nicer uh, futuristic utopia. Um, X1 is me, apparently. I'm glad we sorted that out. Okay, we're going to commandeer a helicopter and to find a car. It seems like we're missing the forest for the trees a little bit. Uh, okay, there's there's a helicopter. I'm gonna shoot those CDs though. Those are the real threat. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that it's invincible until such time as it deigns to be a boss. 
it's not doing anything. So, I'm gonna just get into my character and destroy things for no reason. Uh, just so... I, I'm not doing this because of the Wall Street protests. I don't, I don't want to draw any allegories to uh, the youth movements as portrayed here. And this is a really evil game, really. Uh, just because it's, it brings that analogy to mind. Uh, all right, we're circling the city now, and I'm taking damage, which is meaningless. I'm not losing quarters anymore. I'm, just losing time. And I'm destroying the city. And uh, uh, there's a billboard. And it doesn't have an abor anti-abortion message, which is another mark against our current society and a mark in favor of this uh, universe. I mean, I... Majority of, okay, and uh, these guys don't do anything, really. They, they skate. They're skaters. And skaters gonna skate. That's about all I got. They don't they don't attack. I mean they looks like they're giving me the finger. I don't blame them. I mean I'd probably do a lot more than give someone the finger if he was butchering everyone, including myself. My bullets seem to phase through these columns because blood still spout splatters. Um I'm not really sure exactly how physics work here. I'm pretty sure the developers didn't either. Uh is that a laser gun? Did I get a laser gun? I got a super gun now, and a milkshake. I sound excited, but I'm really just uh, bewildered. Uh, those guys committed suicide. They're a little bit... I, I, I admit, that seems like a wiser thing than remaining in this game. They're a little bit smarter than I am. Skynet has taken over. The man has been surpassed by his creation. Yeah, and we've passed this building like three times now, so... We're looking really, really hard for a car we're pretty sure in this is in this area, despite the fact that we have the powers of levitation. Or we're in a flying helicopter. And we're supposed to commandeer a helicopter. I don't... Be good like Johnny. Okay, these are no longer nameless thugs. At least one of them is named Johnny. Interesting. I'd, I'd actually venture a guess that many of them are named Johnny. Maybe they're all named Johnny. We've moved away from simple naming and, or, strictly to simple yeah. naming. Yeah, like, well, uh, maybe this is like, alright, if we ever get put on the spot as to why I'm doing this, it's viral marketing for the upcoming film adaptation to John Dies at the End, which was a good book that I actually kind of enjoyed. I'm not really sure what the movie's going to be like, but, eh. Well, you can destroy their guns. Yeah, and they're still going to send... throw oranges at me, I think? I'm just going to assume those are oranges. That, are, that come out pre-splattered. Uh... Did we beat it? Oh, no, no, we didn't. No, no. Apparently, helicopters don't die for real until you destroy the, um... rutting gear, or the tail... That, is that a... is that their cannon? I don't even know what they're shooting at you. I... It looks like they killed the Sunquist mascot and are sending clones. That, that means they just plasma balls. I don't, I don't know. And that wasn't that was the worst commandeering of a helicopter I think I've ever tried to pull off. I mean, I haven't tried to commandeer many helicopters in my day, but I don't think I'd want to ride in it anymore. And now we're going to enter Aerosmith's <coughs> car, which is a much better ride than whatever we were doing using before. Hey. Cool. Cool, man! Yep. And we're still connected. I'm glad it's reminding that of this. We're moving right along. Hello, Johnny. Hello, skater. Damage. Which I assume is a stat and not a name. If there's a guy named Damage, I'm... he's probably better than me. Uh, Mammy Awards. Fairly innocuous. I don't see anything subdued about that. And now we're putting in a. Oh. Looks like you made it. 
Where you go from here is up And Aerosmith comes to us in a vision, telling us to murder more people in their holy name. Looks like I'm going to be committing genocide because I'm a history major. I don't like destroying art uh, monuments. I'll put that off. These guys are maggots. They're putting chemicals in all our food. Oh. You just found out about that? I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. They're hiding something. And that warrants committing genocide on the local population, which I kind of doubt... This may sound even racist on my part, but I kind of doubt they're the ones responsible for putting chemicals in the food. I mean, unless they've been contracted out to help corporations, which that's, that's not how globalization works. I'm not sure what's powering that camera. I think it's just as confused as we are. It's just circling around, trying to figure out where it's at. That's either really interesting meta commentary or really poor game design. Maybe both. Yeah, if you heard that, it's also a possibility. Perhaps both. Oh, this looks culturally significant. Uh, put some riddle it with bullet holes. Uh, I'm not sure what they're doing. I'm going to introduce them to Aerosmith, I think. Yeah, which is really villainous of me. But I'm trying to get into character here, still. I'm a really bad role player. Because uh, I feel remorse now. And my character obviously doesn't. Because he's driven all the way to South America because Aerosmith came to him in a vision and told him something was wrong here. Uh, so, these guys kind of look like bumblebees. I'm running out of things to say. Uh, this looks like the wailing wall. Not really. I'm kind of wailing inside right now, so it brings things to mind. Apparently the Mayans used CDs. Uh, technically it would be um, the Incan, depending on how south we are. I didn't, I didn't look at the map. And none of this is... Oh, wait, this is Brazil, because... No, it's not. Uh, I don't even care. Thank God we are floating, because it looks like we're floating through a river of poo right now. I mean, the vegetation seat doesn't seem to mind, but... Oh, look. It followed us. I don't. I don't think there's a limit to how many continues I get. If I run out, I, I might just call it quits. I mean, I think we've seen just about everything that needs to be seen. And worst case scenario is Aerosmith dies forever, and our hero fails in his quest. I can sleep soundly knowing that. Uh, I'll throw some discs at him, Don. I, yeah, I mean, I know they're finite, but I have, wait, I have 896 discs. You're carrying around a lot of CDs right now. I need, logic dictates that these would be stolen or transferred to an iPod now. Yeah, this is also something new, kids, who never actually, oh, did I die? For good? Mm -hmm. Ah! What just happened? Okay, I think I just... You destroyed his sign. And it fell on him. I don't know what that was. What? Where, where am I? What's happening? Uh, did I die? I, 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 I IRL died, didn't I? This is purgatory. Hell, maybe. No! I just came from here. Wait, he's gone. So, if you kill enough n indigenous peoples, you get teleported into their temples, which are populated by Johnny and... Whoa, these guys have different... Like any good enemy from a rail shooter, the enemies are color-coded. I don't know what that means. The yellow ones are presumably weaker because they're the first ones we saw, unless... Unlike every other bad or evil organization or antagonist in any video game ever. He sent out his crack troops first, and now he's falling back on just hurling conscripts. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be smarter, really. Yeah, I... I, I if I saw some guy with a Vulcan anti-aircraft gun come, going to a concert that's probably been cancelled by what with the martial law and 
the dominatrix taking over and everything. I don't know why a dominatrix is so hell-bent on destroying Aerosmith. I don't know what... Now, why are these guys... What are these guys? They're in hazmat suits. And they're very acrobatic. Hazmat suits don't lend themselves to that kind of... It's hard to be acrobatic in I a mean, hazmat suit. There's a reason people from the Cirque du Soleil don't often <laughs> moonlight as CDC <coughs> researchers. I mean, that'd be a really awesome show, and I'd probably watch it, but... It doesn't happen. Okay, I see 13 up there, and that make that that leads me to believe that while I am doing this, I'm actually losing continues. That, that means that at some point I might have to stop playing this game before beating it. Which is fine by me. I like I don't I'm, I'm just if not you sure want it's a tragedy even. If you want, I'll even write a fan fiction on what happened after and the bright new world that Nan will usher in after our protagonist is cut short. Or I won't. Which would probably be the saner thing to do. Uh, uh, yeah, you've probably seen a lot of the game, but like, uh, they had, they have money for different pixels. That's, that's something. And these guys again. I'm just gonna start throwing CDs. I need to do that more often. Oh, they're probably getting us, getting us ready for a boss. What was giving, all, giving us all this? I'm ready for a boss. I'm ready for this to be over. No, there are 12 continues left. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep, yep. That's that's somewhat distressing actually. All the quarters in the world can't save me now. These guys are actually pretty terrifying. Yeah, they they're not bad at what they're doing. Yeah, they're ah. I take back what I said earlier, unless this is like the evil of Aerosmith incarnate and I'm fighting my inner demons, which would make more sense than non doing this. Is this what they're putting in our food? Because maybe Aerosmith's onto something, and I don't want to live in a world where Aerosmith has a point. Is it dead? Can I can I leave? I'm just gonna start shooting the wall now. No more mind control by the. W I don't. Okay. That's, Did we win then? That sounds positive. No more mind control. We can fr we can think for ourselves. We don't have to have people tell us to hate Aerosmith anymore. We can hate Aerosmith on our own. We can watch Armageddon and wonder why Bruce Willis is being serenaded by uh, the chorus of hell. Uh, I may sound like a fundamentalist, but I really don't like Aerosmith. I don't. I I I, I had a, I had a friend who said he was going to help me do this. He might like Aerosmith, but this might be a lot more awkward, but I've seen maybe in much more agreeable company. Yeah, I mean, I'm not the biggest Aerosmith fan, I'm not going to lie. Okay, uh, let's go to um, Egypt, uh, because there was some up... Oh. Stop the New the Order bus. bus. We're going to Egypt to stop a bus. Interesting. The bus is picking up kids for reprogramming. Destroy it. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Is this a music video? No, 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 no. This is a kid's labor camp. They're making kids work. Very, very jail baitish kids. Genetically engineered to look... Identical? And 30, despite being 5. This is like a pedophile's... I don't know, either worst nightmare. Uh, and I want a school bus that we had to kill. We had, we had to destroy it. <coughs> and Aerosmith CDs rain from the skies. It's somewhat fitting that this is in Egypt, but with, you know, the biblical plagues. I don't know if it... I don't quote the Bible well enough to just, like, bullshit a tie-in to Aerosmith, but I'm just going to go ahead and say that if it's raining CDs while some guy murders children because he doesn't want them to be indoctrinated against Aerosmith. Because really that's all that seems to be happening. Okay, what am I supposed to be shooting? They are packed in that bus. 
Yeah. And they're, you know, for a bunch of kids, I don't see any kids. I guess, I guess the kids are being re-educated into adulthood. I'm, I'm, I don't know what I'm supposed to be hitting. The tires make sense, but nothing, okay. Oh, the window, yeah, the most integral part. Yeah, I mean, I can't drive without a window. I, I'm shooting the, this is where the driver would be, unless he's, Hunkered down, so where are these guys coming? The re they even call it the Teen Reprogramming Center. This isn't like at, at <coughs> least at least our corporate overlords try to be subtle. These people are completely honest. That like they just they, they don't they don't they don't lie. Like we're gonna go reprogram them. Your kids like Aerosmith. There is something wrong with them. And look what it look what it's come to. Look what an Aerosmith fan is capable of. He is destroying school bus. Oh, it got away. Oh, what was me? Oh, I blew it. Thanks to you, another fifty innocents will perish. Uh, in addition to how many did I kill there? I, we'll find out after this is over. Hey. I guess he's just not innocent. Hey, you're not innocent. Neither are you. All those who oppose Aerosmith must perish before the might of my ball cannon. <sighs> innocent? Yeah, because my gun doesn't kill her. Because Aerosmith, she's under the protection of Aerosmith, which is a disembodied cabal of I don't know. I guess I should take those things out because I have only the 11 continues to work with. Oh no. 10. Ah, we could always game shark that though. Yeah. I keep forgetting game shark exists. It's been so long since that's been applicable to my life. Good old ZSNES just kind of lets you uh, create your own too. Apparently I can destroy this top part of the bus. Wait, wait, wait. Nyeh, speed up. I command you with the power of firearms. This would lend itself much more to uh, Ted Nugent than Aerosmith, I think. I could be wrong. Uh, I guess I have to destroy this too. Alright. Now I have to speed up. Alright. Speed up. Speed up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Oh no, they're getting into the wall and I won't be able to follow them for some reason. Oh great. Oh great, what did I miss? The top of the bus, maybe? Like the roof? Oh, nothing. Alright, and thanks to us, another 50 innocents will not perish. Well, they, they no longer exist. But they died by our hands, <coughs> and that's really what matters here. And that guy has a bus on top of his face. Or in his head clipped into his head. And we're back to Aerosmith schools out forever. Which is true. You can't have a school without children. And the people of the Middle East live a blissful, child-free existence now. I'm sure somewhere out there a tea partier is uh, weeping with joy. For no reason. He does, he's not sure why. He feels very happy right now. And I continue my descent into um, the world of Aerosmith, which is a lot more interesting. Like, well, not interesting. It's not what I expected. Non-objectives. None. N no. I have no objectives. I'm going to fix the air conditioner. Nope. Chuck Testa. Destroy Chemitex. It's a front for the it's new... front for the new order. Would a new government order need fronts? This is the legitimate world we're living in. The, I, I, we are the ones who need fronts. I am the front of Aerosmith. I am the mouth, arm, sword, mind of Aerosmith right now. Matter of fact, I'm just going to go ahead and assume this is a nightmarish LSD acid trip committed to code. I mean, Aerosmith has probably seen something like this in their time. I don't, 
not familiar with LSD's effects. I'm sure there are others. Hey, who might? Hey, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Oh, great. A box puzzle. A box puzzle. Yeah. That's just what this game needed. I guess this came out around about the time Final Fantasy VII came out, so they needed to be as... I don't, I don't remember Final Fantasy VII. I didn't play Final Fantasy VII. That sounds like a nerd heresy. I had other people play that for me. In fact, my relationship to Final Fantasy VII is the same as your relationship to Revolution X. Somebody else played it for me. I didn't have to actually go through the work of doing anything. Final Fantasy VII is a lot longer than this game, thankfully. Thankfully, in that this is not as long as Final Fantasy VII. Except, memory serves, that was a long, long game. Wait, wait, I probably needed to go in there. But I didn't shoot it with enough gusto. These are the worst ninjas. They're... Wh where, where are they supposed to be blending in? Is this like the... If, if I were, like, in a room full of Hulk Hogan cosplayers, they might be able to blend in. They might be able to assassinate me. As it stands, in an environment of nothing but boxes, they'd be better off just going the whole brown shirt. But they just dress like the Hitler Youth. They'd blend in perfectly. I would not see them, because I'm not looking that hard. I'm just kind of aimlessly manipulating the keyboard, causing destruction. Okay, apparently it just doesn't like me being there. So I guess I'll be over here. If you need me, I'll be over here by these boxes. I think we're in Japan now because there's ninjas and they're really racist about everything, so... Well, I think these are ninjas. Throwing stars. Okay, now, um... If you need to know anything about Japan, like if any of you are really into anime and you're into that whole, uh... Getting to understand the culture... Apparently, Japan is completely composed of cardboard boxes. This is like, I, you know it's really compact. This is the, this is actually a hotel. This is where people live. You're killing them! I just... I just bombed a school bus. My moral event horizon is a little... Well, it's just... It's been passed. I'm something right now. I'm not sure what I am, but... I am the monster at the end of this book for another literary illusion. <laughs> if there's actually a book. I always liked Grover. Yeah. <laughs> I really... What I need in that... I don't need there. Oh. Goodbye. Any of you guys have a key card? Um, a unicorn medallion? Is, is that <coughs> how these things work? This is Japan. They, they made Resident Evil. I'm sure they need, like emblems to get into bathrooms. Uh, yeah. It just keep going. I haven't... I'm apparently doing pretty well. I don't think I've lost that much health even. Did he? Wait. Wait, wait I, why couldn't I go in there? There was nothing... There was nothing in my way. Okay, I have... I want to go in. I don't... I'm not enjoying myself here. I'm trying to get out. Pretty sure even my character is not enjoying this. You can only kill some. <gasps> Aerosmith! I found them! And killed them! Oh no, what have and I done? I gave you wings! I, I must... So my character is now trying to usurp his lords. This is, ex this is an interesting direction. He's going to become Aerosmith by consuming them. Uh, I, I actually am a villain now. I'm, I'm that one henchman who always had that weird look throughout the JRPG, and now I'm trying to become the final boss. I don't know who the protagonist is yet. I'm just gonna go ahead and assume it's not Aerosmith. Maybe it's one of the survivors from the uh, school bus destruction. That'd be somewhat fitting. I especially like how you shoot the plasma ball. And it stops it from hitting you. Yeah, I deflect it. And apparently it's just dissipating harmlessly. I feel kind of like I'm back in some of those old Star Wars games. I can't remember which one it was, but there was one. Was, uh, I don't know. 
I don't know what I'm doing. Hey, priceless works of... No, that's not art. <coughs> These guys are just doing the YMCA over and over again. Well, the Y. It's fun to stay at the Y, 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 Y. You know, that's kind of what this game is making me say, though. Why, 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 why? Why am I watching this? Why are you listening to this? Why are you watching this? Why am I playing this? What do you think this was a good idea? I, I'm not very good at StarCraft, so... I'll just play another game I'm not very good at. It's kind of weird. No one's, to my knowledge, has played through it this way. I mean... I'm... I spent a lot of lonely days at college when I had to be writing term papers and I instead watched people play video games so I could have some of that hometown feel of sitting in a friend's basement. Now I'm, it's come full circle and I'm doing it. If any of you have, are in college, cherish that time. Those lonely nights with term papers, they beat the real world. Hey, Helga! A new character! In a dark... I wonder if she knows Jimmy. I thought his name was John. Ah, uh, it was. Maybe it was Jimmy. Is there... I'd imagine there's a Jimmy. If there's a John. If there's a John, there has... Submit. Submit. I'd submit. Yeah, I feel like that's a good idea, submitting to Helga. Yeah, so Helga seems to have her shit together. Look at this place. I mean, she's got consoles that are indestructible to my bullets. School children are not indestructible. As a matter of fact, I... I goes so far as to say that the school children were quite weak against my bullets. My bullets were super effective there. Bullets, my only Wait weakness. a minute. <gasps> They're experimenting on women in bikinis. What are they going to turn them into? What are they going to do to them? Well, it's, they're women in bikinis. They're going to be transformed into some kind of horrible monstrosity. I'm not going to stop and save them. They're not, they're not being tied down. They could get up. That means they're volunteers. <coughs> Aerosmith has driven women to want to become monstrosities just so they can destroy the terrible world that allowed Aerosmith to live. Why does this robot have such a magnanimous office? It does, is it just, what's it do? Does it, does it file paperwork well, with its Gatling guns? And is this Excel 2003 bot? Or... I mean, Excel's pretty boring, so I can see you wanting to spruce up the process with uh, a robot with Gatling guns. I mean, if I was three and you'd maybe do something on Excel spreadsheets, this would probably be one of the first ten things to pop in my head of things I'd rather be doing, flying around in a gunship with Gatling guns in my office. I, this is interesting. I mean, it's better than killing a bunch of school children. Well, actually, it's killing something I find pretty interesting, so I don't I don't like this. I like this just about as much as I like killing school children. This is a wondrous piece of technology that I am destroying because it defies Aerosmith. And Aerosmith totally told me in a dream that I should destroy things. I am a presidential assassin. I am role-playing a presidential assassin. I have no intention of killing Obama. Biggie swear. Okay, <coughs> and it's dead or having an episode. No, it's dead. Unless it puts itself back together for a final boss. But I'm pretty sure Helga's gonna be the final boss. Yeah. I mean, it, it'd be interesting if she killed me. Yep, alright, I'm going to take a little break here and we'll resume this, um, Spencer, Slim, I'm going to pause this so I don't screw it up. I'd hate to lose our, lose our place. That is escape. And I think we're back. Yeah, looks like we are back for everybody. Well, if we are, you're here, you're here. hey, we have wings. Oh, wow, I and I guess you guys don't know that we ever left, actually. Yeah. TV magic, I tell ya. It's like magnets. Wait. Tear down the wall. Okay. <laughs> Which wall? 
They're so bad at giving instructions. I, the delusions of my existence. <coughs> oh, I, oh, I am going to relish this. Wait, no, I'm not. That's not Aerosmith. That's Helga. Why would I want to destroy her? I, I, I can't do anything. Wait, I, yeah, I can. This isn't a wall. This is something. <gasps> Helga. Why are the indigenous people here? Are they just... They followed me to Germany, I guess, because that would they are incapable of making such an illusion without actually having it take place in Berlin. Uh, okay, so, as you can see, everyone we've wronged throughout our genocidal rampage has come back for one final confrontation, but they are not strong enough. Our protagonist, I, can levitate. I can spew Aerosmith from nothingness. I regain health by drinking milkshakes. Shooting them! Yes, I, I don't even consume things the way mortals do. I shoot them and I gain their power. I gain the power of Aerosmith by shooting them. I gain their wings by shooting them. I gain everything by shooting them. I... I'm a monster. This is... You know, I I used to play Euro Europa Universalis all the time. And I would always love it when the United... when the, when the American continents opened up for colonization because there's so much money to make. And I would callously make decisions that would do millions to die from smallpox and my genocidal camps. And I felt so numb to that. I thought I saw only the money of my nation. Here, now that it's all been personalized, when, I, when I'm when i gunning down guys in little racist caricatures, I see the error of my ways too late. You didn't expect that in a Let's Play of Revolution X. If you want to call this a Let's Play, I hold Let's Plays to a higher standard. I guess this is a stumble through. There's a guy talking. He's playing a game. You're watching. That's a let's play. We play games so you don't have to. I've saved you a great deal of trouble here. Well, uh, I've saved you about half an hour of your life. But this is really... I, I understand why they call it Revolution X, because if they actually went out and called it Aerosmith the video game, there'd probably be riots in the streets because it would finally become apparent that our society is just that corrupt. And that was before the millennium changed. This, was, this game was made in 96, I think. That would have been about the time I was in fourth grade. Maybe a little... Maybe it was in... I don't know. I don't like thinking about how old I am. Uh, you'd think you'd levitate more so that the stuff you still needed to destroy was in your viewing range. Yeah, I, I mean, I have, maybe he just loves killing that much. Alright, let's see the final confrontation with Helga, or John's brother Tim. Hey Helga, what's, what's that? Does she have a whip? Uh, that's not Helga. And if it is... Is that Helga? Did, did she become that? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do things. I'm <coughs> do I have to hit it in the foot? What? Oh. So I had to tear the skin off its limbs. This is like the most absurd game of operation ever played. This is... You know how they have those urban legends about doing this and this will upset your gag reflex? I'm proving every bit of one of it, every one of those wrong right now. That is he puking on you? <laughs> I don't know if it's a he. I think that's Helga. Either that or Helga just decided to leave the game, which would make her the smartest person involved in this. But really, it's go on, run to mommy. I've had He's work. come to mommy, he says. I've had 
or I kind of doubt that. I mean, I kind of, I think I believe the Black Knight had had actually had worse before you because you're leaking blood because you literally have no skin to keep it in. I mean, it looks like Hel Helga was into some kinky stuff. Okay, this has to be it. I have 500 CDs. I'm gonna be hurling them all at you. And okay. <laughs> well, that was beautiful. All right, you all watching, leave comments. If you see what I'm seeing, be sure to leave comments to that effect because I need to know that this game hasn't caused severe psychological damage because it looks to me like it's raining blood. <laughs> Which memory, if memories, oh, I've defeated the New Order. Youth all around the world will be free, and I will be known throughout history as the leader of the revolution, but I will not be known for partying backstage with the world's greatest rock band. Why? Because I did not successfully locate the band members hidden throughout the game. I, I don't want to be a rock legend. I think I'm, I think I'm perfectly content with being history's greatest mass murderer. They actually want you to replay through that game? Wait, there they are. I found them all. Hey. Shoot each one. I can't. Ah. This is even more infuriating than the end of Duck Hunt. Or the inevitable end of Duck Hunt. Can you throw a CD? I can't. No. I can't. I, I guess. I, I tried. Maybe when I threw the CD at them, it... I don't... I don't want to put my name on here. I want to remain nameless. SPQR though. Why? SPQ. There. Not even Rome's legions will be tainted by the end of this. Have I usurped Cunt? Yes, I have. He is now number two. <coughs> well, here's the real question, Don. It's rather sly of me. Has anyone really been far, even as decided to use, even go, want to do, look more like? The ultimate question. You know, I feel like, having played Mass Effect, I feel I'm pretty... Uh, in a position of having played Mass Effect, and I can't answer that question, so... Mass Effect 3 comes out at some point, and I'm kind of looking forward to that, but I don't know when it comes out, and I don't have the money to buy it, so... Steve Bur I hate every one of these people. John Vogel sounds familiar, though. I think he's my neighbor. From five years ago. Uh, Chris Craner. Guitar solos. I don't know who's... That's kind of a weird name. Um, Aerosmith. I don't know any of these guys. I guess they're band members. <clears throat> Kramer. Joey. Aerosmith Music. From the Permanent Vacation. And, uh... You know, I guess this is actually the end. I, unless there's some super secret level that I have no intention of playing. Well, thanks for listening, watching. I guess you did both, unless you're blind or deaf. In which case, we're. Um, I applaud your um, intestinal fortitude, because at least I can maintain at least some grasp on reality, <coughs> having full sensory intake on this. Only seeing it would be confusing. Only hearing it would be worse. Game conversion by Rage Software. And Kent Murray. This must have been an easy job for him, because I don't think he did much. I kind of... I don't... I can't, is that really art? I mean... Roger Ebert says video games can never be art. I'm often prone to disagree with him, and I can usually cite examples like a good, honest nerd. And then I see this, and it's like I realize I'm defending Hitler. I mean, I'll pro after uh, give me a few days, I'll probably go right back to saying how interesting literary idioms can be employed in the new medium of video games. But then this will always be in the back of my mind, haunting me. Just like it did all those years ago, Christmas vacation, with that cousin that I get to see once every ten years. And one of those ten years, he introduced me to this, and I introduced it to you. Say lovey!
Goodbye, everyone. Have a nice night. Watch StarCraft at Donorom.com. Maybe some more of this. Or visit your loved ones. Hopefully they won't introduce you to terrible video games. Good night. Goodbye, Aerosmith. You sadistic bastards.